<clears throat> Yo, what's up, everybody? Squirrel, what's up, baby? Hey, I hope you well, man. Hey, again, thanks for having me on your show, man. Hey, go check out that YouTube. It was, what was it? Smoke Session with Squirrel. Uh, you can find it on YouTube, but uh, go check it out. Um, hey, this is just uh, this is just me checking in on a Sunday. It's a Sunday check-in. That's it. Uh, it's been an amazing week last week. Had that interview, that, went, that, that podcast, that went great. Had some, some positive things happen uh, in my business. And I uh, was able to talk to some of my partners, some of my friends, and just talk about life. Just talk about some of the things we got going on and, and being able to just motivate each other and, and inspire each other. Um, but today, I just want to give some, some thoughts going into this week. As we start this week, today's Sunday, <clears throat> Sunday, uh, March 13th. Um, and I just want to people just to, to, as you start to think about what you're going to be doing this week, start setting some big goals for the week. What's some things you want to accomplish? What's some things you want to get done? And don't, 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 I mean, yes, yeah, set some small goals, some short term goals that you might be able to accomplish today, tomorrow, but set something that you got to put some time in, set something that you got to put some energy in that it might take you the whole week. Something to keep you on this path throughout the whole week, keep you motivated, keep you going. Uh, and also, be open to being a blessing to somebody. Be open to being a blessing to somebody. You have to figure out what that means for you. But when you start to work on yourself, when you start to put yourself in a space to actually provide a service, to provide love, when you have your heart open and you're willing to give and serve, the opportunity to be a blessing with somebody, for somebody, will present itself. Be ready for it. Be counting on it. Be looking for that opportunity. At the same time, be ready to receive a blessing. Be ready to receive it. It's coming. They're here. Feel them. Be ready when they show up at your door, when they, when they ring your phone, when they show up in an email. Be ready to receive it. Know that you are worthy for this blessing. Know that this blessing is yours to receive. And, uh, you know, if you don't feel that you're worthy, if you don't feel that you have that, that self-worth, maybe that's the goal for the week. Maybe the goal for the week is to start to talk to yourself and start to communicate with yourself. To start to uplift yourself, give yourself positive thoughts, give yourself positive mentalities, a positive way for you to think throughout the week so you can encourage your spirit, so you can encourage your soul to grow and know that you are worthy of these blessings that, are you, that you will be receiving. Now, these things just, in my belief, they just don't show you have to do your own work. You have to do that inner work. You have to have that inner conversation. You have to develop who you are because they're all around us. But when we aren't focused, when we aren't, when we aren't open, we aren't willing to receive, we miss it. We don't get it. So throughout this week, on this Sunday check-in, just saying what's up, just taking a couple moments just to add some positive energy to the world. But on this Sunday check-in, Think about how you can be a blessing to somebody else this week. Think about what it is. I mean, we, we here in Michigan, we had a nice, nice snowstorm last night. At least in Lansing, we did. Maybe you go and shovel your neighbor's driveway. Think about how you can have a positive impact. How you can be that single raindrop that will make a difference in somebody's life. And again, at the same time, think about how you are able to receive a blessing. Be prepared to receive that blessing. Don't say, you know, I got it. Don't say, I don't need that. No, say thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. I'm, I'm here for that. One thing, a uh, thought that I always have is, what is it? It's uh, no matter how dark it is, no matter the darkness, the dawn will break. No matter the darkness, the dawn will break. So no matter what you're going through, no matter how dark the time is, as long as you keep pushing forward, as long as you keep working on you, that sun's going to rise. 
there's going to be a brighter day. So each day, do something that makes you feel good, that adds positivity to your life. Because when you start to show that positivity and you start to become that light, it radiates to everybody around you. And you walk in the room and they feel good. You ain't even got to say nothing. You walk in the room and they feel comfortable. They feel calm. You can do that. But we have to work on ourselves. And is that reading? Is that writing? Is that doing what it's necessary to learn more about who we are on the inside? Take advantage of it. Big cousin, I see you, Mr. Be the Flow. What's happening? Hey, hey, um, you know, my cousin, my cousin, Mr. Be the Flow. If y'all ain't on TikTok, if y'all ain't on, on uh, any of them social medias, go follow this man. He uh, is my family. When you see your family doing greatness, when you see your own blood having the, the amazing impact on lives, it helps motivate and inspire you. Same thing it was when I used to watch my brother Tico. I see my brother Tico out here running that rock. Go green, go white. I see him out here having this success. I see the work that Tico put in to achieve this, which made me believe I could do it. But I had to do the work. And I'm watching my cousin, Mr. Be The Flow, Scott Riley. And it's amazing to watch that man. He's so motivational, so inspirational. And I can see the lives he's changed on his path. And we all got a path, but I actually know him. I've seen him. I believe in him. And to watch his path has inspired me in ways that, you know, y'all y'all will see one day how I can evolve. And hopefully I can evolve into a person like he has. But we all have somebody around us who is motivating us, who is inspiring us. We also have those who are tearing us down, who aren't building us up, who aren't allowing us to reach our full potential. Find out which people motivate you and gravitate to them. Understand and see who are the ones that are pulling you down, who aren't inspiring, who aren't motivating you, and leave them alone. Leave them alone. Is it harder to stay with someone on a daily and having be broken down and putting yourself back together daily? Is that pain harder or the pain of cutting that tie and rebuilding yourself? You know, I, I've, I've had my, my shoulder replaced about a, a month. Of, no, in November, I had my shoulder replaced. And the pain I had in my shoulder every single day, just waking up, there was a pain in my shoulder that I just had to fight through. I, I It wasn't going away. And I knew it wasn't going away. But every single day, there was this ache. There was this pain in my shoulder. And no matter what I did, it would not... Go away. I mean, some days if I iced it, yeah, it would, it would calm down, but it would come right back the next morning. But the day I got my shoulder replaced, the day I had that surgery, I woke up from, from surgery. I woke up and it was a whole different type of pain. It was a healing pain. This was a pain in my shoulder that I knew that through going through the process, the rehab, through time. I knew this pain would heal. But when I didn't, before the, the surgery, this pain every morning, I was wake, waking up like, okay, how bad does it hurt today? Okay, yeah, I can get, this is going to work. Or it's like, man, I guess I ain't, guess I ain't screen printing today. <laughs> I was dealing with this pain. I was figuring out how to cope with this pain. And then when I finally had that, that shoulder, that situation removed, the pain of growth, the pain of healing gave me a whole different mindset. The pain in my shoulder would take me back years to not only football injuries, but things that I was going through in my past that that pain attached to. The pain attached to my shoulder. And I didn't know how to let go of it. Once I had this brand new shoulder, all the pain slowly started to fizzle away. And now I'm a new person. I feel like a new person. My shoulder's getting strong. That nagging dull pain that I had on a regular basis is no longer there. And I have more things I can think about now, more ways I can spend my energy. What is that dull pain in your life that you got right now? 
What is that pain that when you wake up, when you're going throughout the day, you know it's there, but you're not willing or able to do anything about it. Instead, you figure out ways to cope with it. What pain is that that's there that it's time to let go? That it's time to move on from? And yes, it's going to hurt to cut that tie. It's going to hurt to move on. Yes, it is. But that's going to be a pain of healing. And through time and through self-work and through the process, that pain will get less and less and less every single day. Every day. And then one day, you wake up with a brand new shoulder. <laughs> Stronger than ever. Better than, the, better than the other shoulder. You wake up with a whole new perspective on who you are, what you're about, and where you can go. No matter how dark it is, the dawn will break. And you will have a chance to start over or new, just like when you volunteer with New World Flood, flooding the world through giving the service. A single raindrop is the beginning of a flood, a flood of love. After the flood, there's a whole new growth, a whole new place for you to create whatever you want, a blank canvas for you to develop the life, the community, the family, you, whatever it is that you feel that you're worthy. But again, knowing that you're worthy. Believing that you're worthy. Going through the process to develop this being that's so magical. That has so much in store. So on this Sunday check-in. Hey, I just want y'all to have an amazing Monday. A phenomenal Tuesday. A fantastic Wednesday. And plan it out. Make this the best week ever. Best week ever. And every day you wake up, every day that you're allowed to wake up, just say thank you and know that you're here for a purpose. Know that you're here for a reason. Know that the things that you're able to do will create magic in somebody's life. Somebody else who is just like you, who didn't have a belief in themselves, who didn't have goals, who didn't have courage, who didn't have confidence. Someone just like you who is sitting in a darkness with no way, no hope, dealing with the same dull pain. It's time to get rid of that pain. Time is, this time, the time is up. Tell the pain, tell that pain, the time is up. This time is up. You got to go. I'm choosing to make something more of my life. I'm choosing to create what I want to bring joy, happiness to myself, to my family, to my community, to this world, to the universe. I'm making that choice. Look in the mirror and know that you're not the only one going through this same situation. You're not the only one experiencing this. A lot of times when we get in the dark, when we get in our head, we feel like we're the only ones. We jump on social media, everybody's laughing, smiling, on trips, doing this amazing stuff. No one's really showing their darkness. No one's really showing the things that they're going through. They just show you what's bright. So no, you're not the only one going through this. There are plenty of us. But we also have to see the success stories. We have to hear the success stories. Just like I was talking about my brother Tico and my cousin Scott Riley, Mr. Be The Flow. I see these successes. I see them. They are real. I can call them. I can talk to them. I can ask, how did you do this? And I might even copy it because I see it works. <laughs> So when you start to do this in your own life, somebody else is watching. Somebody else will see you having this new change, this new growth, this new development. They're going to say, I, I've known this person forever and they've never acted like this. They've always had on a black shirt. Why they got on white now? What are they doing? What is that about? Why? You can be that change. You are that change. Be willing to step out for yourself for growth. For love, for confidence, for courage, for success, for happiness, for joy, for your family, for your bloodline, for the community, and for the universe. Be willing. Your team is bigger than you know. Your team is bigger than you know, than you can ever imagine. But your team doesn't know what to do if they don't know what you're going through. Your team doesn't know what to do 
if they don't know what you're going through. And I ain't saying share all your dirty laundry. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I ain't saying that. I'm just saying through your positive actions, through the way that you move, the different way you maneuver through this life, someone's going to recognize that vehicle has changed. They're going to say that something's different about this young man or young woman. That vehicle has changed. And as you start being consistent and you develop this on a daily and you keep being who you are, you keep growing into this space, then the questions are going to start coming. Somebody who's in their darkness is going to come into you. They're going to call you, text you, DM you, email you, whatever. But it's going to be their courage. It's going to be their, them on the inside wanting more than they already have. And they're going to reach out to you. And you can tell them your story. You can tell them what you're going through. And because they know you and they've seen you, that will give them the courage. I didn't uh Oh man, sorry about that. I ain't have it I ain't have it on do not disturb or airplane mode. My bad. So that must be that must mean my time is up. That must mean that today Sunday check in is over. Unless somebody got something they want to comment, say, jump on. Otherwise, uh tomorrow is Monday, March 14th. I encourage you to be a blessing in somebody's life this week. Do something positive in somebody else's life this week. And if that somebody else is you, put yourself first. Do something for you that will make you feel good, that will help you grow. And by working on yourself, that will give positive energy to somebody else. You will be somebody else's light in their dark space while they're seeing you shine, letting go of all this pain, of all this hurt, of all this suffering. And in the same token, be willing to receive the same type of blessing. Be open to that same blessing. I believe in you. I send you my hope. I open my light. And I encourage you to be the best you can this week. I am the rainmaker. Hello. <laughs> Peace. Hey, have a great week.